Now open in Sacramento, the Smud Museum of Science and Curiosity has more than 100 new exhibits to explore. Our Marcus Allen is live there this morning. Mark, what can visitors expect? Bria, you can expect to be taken away by this. I, look, I'm not overhyping it. I feel like I'm in the Starship Enterprise. The technology behind the museum blowing me away. Shanaz, if I could borrow you for a moment. How many square feet are we talking about? We're talking about, in the whole facility, 50,000 square feet, but over 22,000 square feet of exhibits. Whether it's not, uh, science, conservation, space, it's all examined. Over 100 different exhibits. Exactly. All right, mm -hmm. kid tested, by the way. I can prove it. I was here yesterday. Take a look. Uh, the, my favorite thing about this is the science, and upstairs there's stuff about astronauts, and I really want to be one when I grow up, so, yeah. Would you recommend this to other kids? Definitely. <laughs> I like that I get to um, explore a bunch of different things, and it's very fun. What are you learning about here today? <laughs> a lot of stuff. What's the coolest thing you've seen? Um, I think the different, the arcade with climate change, it really explains how climate change is affecting the world and you get to see how different changes will make a difference. Would you recommend it to other people? Yes, 100%. And how would you describe it to them? Um, it's a really fun and interactive museum and it's great for all ages. What I love about her, she was talking about what she learned about client, uh, climate change. And indeed, not only can we learn things here that will make us smarter, but we might actually save the planet at the same time. Yes, you can. By one little decision, you can do something. And that's one of the biggest messages here. All right, you wanted to talk about water. So there's an exhibit here that's just amazing. So uh, all of these different consumer products, whether it's a car, tire, a bag of cement, smartphone, it talks about how many gallons of water. So you want me to pick one? I do. All right. What are uh, you going to pick there? Well, because I'm actually using a smartphone for this broadcast, I'm going to push the button that says smartphone. And now we look at this giant calculator. It's calculating how many gallons of water. That bar graph keeps going up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We're past 2,000 gallons. We're about to pass 3,000 gallons. And the survey says 3,000 400 gallons of water just to make one smartphone? Wow. You've got to imagine all of the chips, right, that are in there. And each chip takes about um, 30 times of washing. That's, that's really where all that water comes from. And then you've got to get that product to market, right? And so all of that water that it takes represents one cell phone. <laughs> You'll learn so much more. I'm going to link all their information on my Facebook page. Also, you can go to abc10.com for more. Check this out, Bria. Yeah, you learn something new every day here on Morning Blend. Thanks so much, Mark. We'll be right back.